Hello everybody, new video of James Speed Shop. One of the last parts of the engine rebuild of the M113. Um, so bottom end is together. The only thing I need to do in the bottom end is the valve covers and the intake manifold. But the intake manifold will be a separate video because it's a pretty interesting piece to take apart. And I think um, there is no real um, way to do it because it's sealed shield for life or something I think because you normally don't open it but okay to the the bottom end of the uh, engine first uh, oh yeah it's first if you're new to the channel in the right corner of my logo you can click on it see all the other bits of my project and also the other videos I'm doing for reviews and that sort of stuff this M113 V8 is going to have a turbo and it's going to be in that S124 station wagon so and don't forget to have a look on my website jamespeedshop.com so today I'm going to place the lower oil pan um, and then the and the higher oil pan of course both of them so there's pieces over there and then there's a steel or a, a smaller oil pan that's on the bottom of it so I'm going to seal it I'm going to place the uh, flywheel back on and then uh, we see from there what I need to do more and then uh, yeah go from there so everything looks pretty good in the engine all nice and clean uh, no weird things to see. I checked it with a light for once. Um, so I cleaned up the sides of it, get all the other old gaskets off. The inside I already cleaned. There is some small pieces over there, but all the big stuff is, is away. So some coloration in it with a set of stuff. Small of this is a little bit of corrosion because it's it laid here for a few few weeks already. I did one modification on it. Uh, there is normally there is an oh, there is an there is an oil sensor. I think it's only uh, is this sensor. It's a level sensor. So that's normally mounted in this hole. So it comes up here. This piece is, is in here, and the sensor is then mounted on this piece over here. So and that's. Uh, for the leveling. Maybe I f there's also a possibility that it's also for the oil temperature, I'm not sure about that. I'm not going to use this anymore because that is, these are a pain to change because you need to, to have all the oil out of the engine and, and dismantle the pan and that sort of stuff because the balls are in the inside and they're very expensive. I think this is easily around 200 euros or something this piece. I don't know if it works. Um, so what I did, I grind off the two top pieces they were just like this I'm going to tap the holes completely through because I'm going to use this hole as my drain hole, a hole for the oil of the turbo so the, the turbo needs to drain the oil of the most easiest way back to the, the to the sump so I'm going to make a plate with a connection on here and then it will go uh, it can drain in here like an AN connection or something and just mount it on here with a gasket uh, the other hole is for the uh, level, manual level uh, leveling of the of the sump. So there's just a rubber in here. I have a new one for it. I will mount it. So and then there is a sequence you need to follow to how to put gasket on it. You have this this paper. So there is a sequence. Oh, there's a sequence how you should place the gasket on it. So that's how I'm going to do it. This is for the uh, upper, it's for the lower, and there's also a bolt sequence how to torque it. This is for the Farmatic, yeah, it's a Farmatic, it's an M112 one, it's an M113, and I think maybe there's a little bit of difference in it when you have a 55 AMG uh, in an, um, or in a W211, I think you have a different sump, because there is a lower part in the back. So that can be different, but yeah, this all is all fine in the manual. And uh, the torque sequence for the M6 bolts is uh, 10 newton meters, and for the M8 I'll take uh, 20, and that's it. So, uh, but also take account that there can be some issues in it because I heard in some other parts that there can be some issues in it with the length of the bolt. So always check it yourself if it's correct. So I will put the camera down and we're going to mount it.
flywheel drive plate, what you want to call it, the plate where you should screw your torque converter to. It's including with the, the ring, the timing ring for the crank sensor. Just the original one. This is, all, is also used uh, when the uh, crankshaft was balanced. The plate needs to go on there. So these bolts need to be torqued down to uh, 45 Newton meters and after that you need to have 90 degrees. So first I'm going to do the 45. First I'm going to give them a little bit. To mount the oil filter housing, have a look what's in here. Nothing, I think. O ring? Oh, it's not an O ring, it's that is a weird shape. Needs to go under the housing. Very big nut, needs to torque down to 70 Newton meters, which is a bit, it's a lot, I think. Put some oil on it.
So, very big socket, 46 millimeters. So it needs to be torqued down to 17 newton meters. That's it. Pipe needs to go in. Has three O rings. Goes from small to big. Here's one, another one, and another one. They were in my filter kit. So the one underneath the housing I bought at Mercedes, and this was in the filter kit. So I'm oiling these. O-rings so they will not get damaged. The old ones were very hard so it's pretty good to change them So this can just be pushed in, that's it, then the oil filter, a little bit of oil on the o-rings. This is it. Top cover also has an O-ring. Also be oiled and need to be torqued down to 25 Nm. That's also on my cover the standing 25 Nm. So. It's better to put it in the filter, otherwise you cannot get it straight in. This is it.
So for the fill, for the oil cooler, I have an adapter plate. If you've seen my other videos, you know that I made this. Two O-rings. It's an oval one and another oval one, smaller one. They go just in here. That's it. Then you can just bolt it down. And that's it then for the the most part of this engine. Of course the intake manifold needs to be needs to be done. So, hope you liked this video about this last pieces of this engine, like the bottom end, oil filter housing, uh, flywheel and that sort of stuff. So I torqued this one also down to the right torque values, I got this pulley already installed, this pulley. Um, so the only thing I need to have for tension, I have to make that bolt that I'm missing. And uh, that's it then, and after this I will start on the intake manifold, dismantle it, clean it and look, uh, there are some flap system in it, so I'm going to have a look for some information about that, this will be the next video. Um, the only thing I'm missing on the front here is my small cap. Um, on this engine, particularly on this engine, there is normally an oil pressure sensor in here. I'm also going to put an oil pressure sensor in here and pressure and temperature sensor combined so I have a different gasket for that uh, I need to mount it so that's what I need to do so if you've got any questions about this video uh, in the right corner of my logo you can click on it see all the other videos and you can comment on this one and also have a look on jamespeecher.com the link is over here and then uh, see you for the next video bye bye